Trees are made of wood, but you don't need to build them. They just are wood. You're just saying that because you're too lazy to build a tree. All right, we've wasted enough time in the science corner. Now comb your brows and look decent. It's time for the face-off. Mere days after arriving in New York City, Tim Tebow is homeless, addicted to crack, and knee-deep in a whirlwind romance with a man known only as Javier. New York's plunged Tim Tebow into a dark vortex of drugs and unprotected sexual discovery. Now he's a perfect fit for the city and the Jets. Tebow's dropped pounds of muscle by sleeping in shelters and eating powdered soup mix. He should be studying the playbook instead of becoming the hottest power bottom on the Hudson Dock. Jets team officials say Tebow's throwing tight and sharper passes since becoming a homosexual. Plus, all that crack has made his delivery a lot faster. It's a wake-up call for one Mark Kling Sanchez. Yeah, he's going to have to party a lot harder in and out of the sheets if he still wants to command that locker Speaking room. Speaking of commanding partiers, Tiger Woods is back on top and hoping to ride the momentum from his recent victory all the way to an eighth-place finish at the Masters. His first PGA Tour win in two and a half years electrified the golf world at the prospect of Woods limping past the qualifying rounds and slowly laboring his way to the middle of the league. Leaderboard. At the Masters, he'll be cut after the second round and then blame his caddy for his bad life. The lower part of the sky's the limit for Tiger. He's going to be all over the back pages of golf magazines, flushed with cash from Tia endorsements, and surrounded by women with decent breasts and ugly faces. Yeah, it would be great to be allowed to have a car again. All right, on to bat ball. The Mets had more bad news than usual today when manager Terry Collins announced at a press conference that the Mets are questionable for opening day. It's doubtful that they're even questionable. With their injuries, it's at best a short homestand in May before the Mets undergo surgery and shoot for a return in 2013. The Houston Astros shredded their hamstrings last June, but they hobbled out on the field every game and managed to almost finish the season. The Mets are a 50-year-old club made up of torn muscles, strained groins, and flu-like symptoms. I'd say they were tired. So, what? They're too hurt to lift a bat? Got it out for 2012, then move to the AL, become a designated hitting team. No! Never drag out your season of life. When it's over, it's over! Just go ahead and end it! Don't tell me how to die. I know how to die. Believe it. And believe this, that's the face-off. When we come back, we'll take a look at the history of live televised fatalities in sports, a category that strangely includes no sportscasters yet. Kenny, what are you talking about? <laughs>